There had been, if you look at the literature in business, there had been examples where people had studied particular issues um, and actually modeled them mathematically and saw, considered them as an optimization problem. That's been the basic thing, to try to optimize or at least to improve the existing situation. Um, now there's people who discussed inventories as back in the 1920s and very simple models, but they, they had the idea. It was a little scattered. It was not as these people didn't know each other. It was not a field that things. But if you look back, you can find uh, individual problems were thought about. But the British uh, during World War II uh, began to get, so I don't know whose idea it was, began to get physics, particularly people with physics training, to look at these sort of problems. As I say, as, uh, the, uh, for example, the, uh, how to keep uh, airplanes from getting shot down, what kind of tactics they should use, uh, should they come high, should they come low, and uh, uh, considerations of this kind. Um, and should you go, go the, you know, how far, what the range should be, because the, the further you go, you, the more fuel you need, and therefore the less bombs you carry. Uh, that, that sort of uh, the problems, and they could, uh, and this way they could get quantitative results. And this was considered very successful. The Americans were cre created operations research teams in imitation of the British. So the word, the word I think, operations research was coined by the British in, in this World War II connection. <laughs>